Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So I am here to do, um, you know what, I want to do a flash read. I, I haven't done a, just a flash in a really long time. You never know what we're going to get in a flash read, okay? Um, all of these decks are handmade. Um, except for this one is a regular flash. Bless you, my cat's sneezing. This one's the regular flash deck, and this one is the Twin Flame Soulmate Journey deck. Okay. So, um, anyway, this reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's totally okay. Don't panic. This is a flash reading. Okay. Um, I don't expect it to resonate with everyone. <laughs> um, but if it doesn't, it's okay. Just click off and visit another reader on YouTube. There's plenty of great ones. It just means I didn't pick up on your story tonight, okay? If it does resonate with you and you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel and help it grow. And if you'd like to make a donation to the channel, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. And this channel is for adults only. Okay, um, starting off, let's just do the bottom of the decks, right? For right now. I feel like somebody here, and I feel like it's a masculine energy, is very, very burdened by this. They can barely hold this boulder up anymore, okay? They're carrying a lot of weight on their shoulders. This person may be, um, they may have a lot of responsibilities wherever they are. They may have a lot of people to take care of. Um, you know, they, they may be burdened by work or a business, something like that. But I feel like this person is reaching the point where they just can't carry this boulder anymore. Um, I feel like a breaking point here a little bit and it's it's starting right here. I feel like this person is now beginning to speak to a friend about this stuff, okay? This is my mythology deck, so this is like real art, all right? Um, yeah, I feel like they're now talking to a friend, somebody that they feel they can trust. I feel like these two may have known each other since childhood like childhood buddies okay this really is somebody who could actually possibly give some sound advice um and what are they talking about they're talking about this masculine is like look dude bro i got a decision to make i don't really know what to decide here man i mean look at him right i don't know what to decide here dude on one hand, I've got this chick at home who treats me like as she puts me high on a pedestal. Dude, this, this person will do anything for me, okay, <laughs> right? So this is somebody I feel who is a karmic soulmate. These two may be soulmates, okay? The thing about this one here is she'll do just, she'll change herself to try to keep this person, she'll, um, she'll do anything to try to keep this person. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? I feel like this is a person who holds them in high regard. This, I feel like, um, this is, I feel like, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Sorry, give me a second. You know, where she just can't get by, she can't, she's not going to make it without him kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Sort of obsessive about this person. Um, so anyway, he's like, bro, so on one hand, I've got this girl who's obsessing about me at home, puts me on a pedestal, does whatever I want just to keep me there. And on the other hand, I've got, you know, then I, I, but I can't stop thinking about this one who's absolutely perfect for me. I feel like both of these people are soulmates, perhaps. This one here, he's saying, I don't know whether to kiss her or arm wrestle her. She's not putting up with any of my crap. She's like my equal. 
she's an equal here this is like the perfect kind of this literally is like the perfect kind of soulmate connection not this one do you see what I'm saying this one is needy this one is not um this one is codependent this one is not and so he's like I don't know what to do he's gonna have to arm wrestle for this one so there's gonna have to be because she's the kind of person you would arm wrestle you know and then kiss afterwards you know what I'm saying so this is somebody he's he's gonna have to put in some kind of effort with this is somebody who um, isn't going to put up with his crap <laughs> this is somebody who's gonna call him out this is gonna be some bed of that this is someone who's going to see right through him this is not somebody who's going to do anything that he pleases just to keep him oh no 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 but this is the one he wants it's just that this is the one who's easier okay and this is the one he's already with and I feel like I'm sensing that this person that this that this masculine is with already senses him looking in a different direction see how she's holding his chin in place forward like no 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 keep looking in this direction do you, do you see what I'm saying it's almost as if she knows she senses that this masculine is thinking about someone else okay so this masculine like I said he has this conversation I'm trying to cover up his winky he's having a conversation with his buddy that he's known forever like dude bro I don't know what to do man right <laughs> because I got these two choices and I don't know which way to go let's cover up his winky a little bit there you go um, yeah, but the person that he's with, I feel like, is segmented. This is my, this, this is some mental issues going on here. Uh, this is someone who's segmented, like personality-wise segmented. So one minute they're like fine and proper and crisp and everything is cool, right? And then they, they like, they like change like in a snap and and become like all bleh and just a mess and it's kind of a freak fest okay and so that's who this person is with and she's like pay attention to me pay attention to me pay attention to me this is somebody who probably is like on this person 24 7 i could see this person checking his emails going to his work calling him 50 times a day where are you what are you doing who are you talking to who are you looking at who are you thinking about yeah seriously that's kind of what i'm getting but with this one it, it, all he's got to do is arm wrestle for fun and play that harp that's it you know that's it i don't know but yet he's gonna have to put forth more effort to get here do you see what I'm saying? But yet he's like, it, it catches his interest. He's not even looking down at her. She's trying to get his attention. She is trying to get this guy's attention, you see? But he's only thinking about this because she's got his attention. See him looking at her? Oh yeah, we know that look. Yeah, that's the look, man. Yeah, so I feel like this masculine wants to start something new, write a new story now, start a new cycle. Um, they just, they're having a hard time trying to figure out what decision to make because one is easy and one is difficult. You know, one puts them on a pedestal and will do anything, and I mean anything, to keep him, and one he's got a work at but she's just more his speed you know what I'm saying so this person now is wearing a mask okay they're not speaking their truth yet they're confiding in a friend first but this is how they feel and they may even be grumpy as they go about day to day you know um, 
but they're okay on the outside but on the inside they're screaming and trying it like clawing trying to claw their way out okay I really feel like this person has a ton of inner turmoil push to the point where they've got to hook up with their bro and have their bro help them figure out what decision to make I'm kind of trusting the bro though at this point but your person feels very jailed of course like I said jailed and trapped this person that they're with is not letting them out of their sight okay do you see what I'm saying she's like wait what are you looking at now what are you looking at now how about now what are you looking at now what's on your mind now 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 you know what I mean um, yeah it's very codependent and it's making those mental issues kind of worse I feel like um, because he keeps getting more and more tr more and more it just keeps getting tighter and tighter and tighter I don't know if she's got abandonment issues or what um, the Queen of Swords in reverse this person has anger issues okay so this person flies off the handle and gets angry remember when I said um, remember when I said you know one second they're okay and the next minute they're like Bleh! right this person has anger issues they have a very hard time controlling their anger I can see this as the Queen of Swords in reverse okay so um so yeah I feel like this person has some anger issues how many times do I gotta say that I, no wonder people say I repeat myself too much <laughs> Um, let's get the baby deck on it though. Ah, uh, what? Everybody loves the baby deck. No, the baby deck is not for sale. None of my handmade decks are for sale, guys, because I love them. Because they're very powerful, and really, it was the thing that started off as just a hobby. Um, and I didn't realize how strong they would be. So, like, they're the only ones of their kind and I'm I'm not they're the only ones in existence and I'm not letting them go yeah I feel like this person is about to have a tower moment because see they're not making a decision this person has to decide between two separate people one they can't stop thinking about that they know is perfect for them that they want that they that has their full attention the other they're just kind of settling for because it's comfortable they're being held in high esteem so it pumps up their like it I don't know if it's confidence or what it's a game that they're playing here because they don't really love this person they love that one so like if they don't decide the divine is going to bring down this person's tower okay so that means everything that this person has built with this one that's fake is not being built on a solid foundation and the divine is going to bring down that foundation period point blank end of story you know this person could end up losing one or both of these options the fact of the matter is it's all because of the word option you can't keep and hold people in that energy being an option you can't a decision needs to be made or the decision will be made for them you know seriously it it's all over tarot land guys we're all kind of getting the same energy it's crazy I feel like this person um, is watching maybe maybe both options or they could be watched they could be being watched I think they're watching both options or maybe just the one they're not with that's 
Yeah, this person feels like they're drowning. This person feels like they're drowning because they're in, they're in the midst of making a decision that they don't know how to make. Um, they don't know how to weigh out those scales, okay? It's almost like they're in the law, they're not, this person is not thinking long term. They're only thinking about their creature comforts right now, in the right now time. Okay. In the right now time, they're only thinking about that. They don't really want to get up from this throne to come over here and work on stuff and put forth an effort to get something that's the real deal. When they have all this, it just seems so much easier up until this person feels like they're drowning. They just don't they don't know what to do and I feel like they're drowning in their emotions because that's um, water you know they may feel very wounded by this someone here has the agreed ingredients that they trust I feel like this is a divine feminine though because she's all kinds of dreamy and she's manifesting everything that she wants really everything that she wants and I feel she's the one that this person now can trust okay um, then if they know who they can trust then why are they drowning you know why are they drowning then this person has a secret Okay, so I think this the big secret is is that they do want a brand new journey. They're not they're not talking to this divine feminine about it. They're keeping that a secret from her. The the problem with this person is is that, you know, they may be drowning now, but if they continue keeping this a secret and not speaking their truth, they're going to be really drowning when this Divine Feminine manifests her brand new beginning any way she wants. You know? This person wants to have his cake and eat it too. They're trying to catch the, the attention of the Divine Feminine, I feel. Or whoever you are, person watching. I think that's your energy, darling. Let's see. So I'm just going to say that that's you. Yeah. Just be on the lookout. Be very careful. Um, I think be careful, number one, because this person does, there's unfinished business here. There is unfinished business here. This person left very, very abruptly. Okay? They were doing great, everything was good, and then er, they stopped, went went to this person here who's kind of a nut job. Um, you know, major anger issues, very, oh, this person has some issues, okay? Um, I feel that that person is there really just to teach a lesson, and I feel like your person is going to start learning a lesson soon, yeah, because what did, oh my gosh, did it I not didn't I say that here this person is settling maybe I didn't I I feel like they are if they stay here because it's easy Be, while they are in love with someone else and not going there because they have to work for it that is settling I'm sorry but it's true if they stay settling in this situation there's a big lesson that this person's going to learn. So be very careful because with this unfinished business person watching, if this person approaches you and they still have all of this that's going on and their karma and their burdens, you could get pulled into that as well, okay? Because this person has to do some shadow work here still. They need to figure out, sorry I was holding it wrong. They need to they need to take a good hard look at themselves thinking that it's it's not okay to have your cake and eat it too and make a decision based on what's easier 
it's wrong to do this. That enslaves this person, actually. I gotta tell ya. This person needs to wake up. This masculine needs to wake up and realize what they're doing. They're playing chess with human beings. It's ridiculous. All right, what else can you show me here, Divine? Yeah, just be very careful. Because I feel like this person who's doing the shadow work, they're gonna, they may start getting upset. I, I feel like they're drowning already um, in burdens and sorrow. Yeah, look, they don't know what to do. They're completely dumbfounded. They really don't know what to do. All they know is they feel this intense pull to go to you, person watching, because you're the one that they love. There's unfinished business, so be very careful because they're on foot, and I think they're coming to you. Um, and they're going to be like, what have I done? What have I done? And what, and what am I going to do? you like... Yeah, they want. They knew they had this. I feel like they had this at one time with you. This beautiful, perfect, um, absolutely stunning, true love connection, right? And they, they, they went with this instead because it was easier. It was easier. And this person now has, now they feel trapped because they have whacked out mental issues, I feel like, right here. Okay, they're like this. It's killing your person, I feel, but they just don't know what to do. They don't know what to do and how to get this love back. Okay, so be very careful because now it's almost like I feel like your person's been somewhat conditioned by whatever treatment and psychosis this I don't even know what this is um, it's very codependent I mean like it's ex look oh my gosh your person had a choice they had a choice between toxic, a toxic relationship where they may have even gotten committed, like engaged and married, okay, and tra and stuck with this person, all right? They had a choice to make between this and this, true love, and this kind of commitment. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe, my deck is messed up, but that's how we started, them talking to their bro. Bro, what do I do? On one hand, I've got this this toxic chick who's codependent and has some anger management issues. And I'm like wanting to commit with her. <laughs> and she she like watches me 24/7 and stuff and I feel completely trapped, but at least I'm there and it's easy. But then I have this over here that I can't stop thinking about because it's true love, man. Bro, what would I what should I do? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just ridiculous. This person now they're realizing how trapped they got and how much time they wasted and how they're running out of time and they're being watched. See the eyeball? I told you this person's being watched, tracked. I think they're probably getting called and texted all day long, all day long. Where are you? What are you doing? Who are you talking to? What did you have for lunch? How many times you pooped today? Yeah. Yeah, because this person, they sabotage this person before, I feel. This person is in a lot of, or they put this person through a lot of pain. She's cried tears of blood, okay? That's tears of blood there. Um, and yet, you know, that's why she's like codependent. That's why she's doing anything she can for this person. Is because she knows this, she can feel this person has a decision to make. He's about to leave. I, I really feel like this person's going to go for love. And if they don't, then they don't deserve to have you, person watching. But they feel trapped and left out in the cold by you. 
by you. And watched. Watched. By this person. So yeah, this is basically their life. They're left out in the cold by you, but they're being watched like a hawk by them. By the, by the person with the mental health issues. How about that? I'll say it like that. Because that's really what that is. A segmented personality. It's like a personality disorder or something. Anger management issues, something. Okay, that's for the baby deck. Um, yeah, burdens. Look at this. Burdens. More burdens here. All right, what else can you show me here for the flash reading? Flash. Yeah, the, whoever they're with may be um, planning, plotting, strategizing behind this person's back. They could be even be, I, you know, I don't know. I, I feel like there's a plan involved here. Something about making somebody alone, lonely. Oh, maybe this person's going to walk away and leave their person alone. That could be it, too. That could be it, too. Give me one more on that, on the shoes. What's happening with the shoes? Where are they going? To start a new journey. Uh, for some odd reason, I'm hearing mental institution. So maybe yeah, to be honest with you, when the card came out, and I don't usually read it, read this into this card. This is usually my writing your future however you want it to be, manifestation kind of stuff. But when this card came out, I <laughs> I heard circus music. I heard circus music, and then I heard mental institution. Okay, so. I'm wondering if someone is going to be put in a mental institution or maybe just may taking themselves there even. Um, because somebody's perspective is completely blown out. Like, I feel like this masculine is angry right now. Angry. Um, because they've been like completely sitting in darkness for a really long time and any kind of bright like any anything light in their life any kind of brightness in their life it feels so out of reach for this person like they can plan um, anything or have some kind of fantasy fantasy or a wish about anything and it just seems out of reach because they've been an, they've been surrounded by darkness and dark energy for so long and they're realizing that now they're starting to snap out of it and see things for how they are um, and I think they're very very angry because they left something unfinished here that they probably should pick up these these colors and finish coloring it okay um, I'm also hearing mental institution perhaps this person who's got the mental issues is finally going in for some help because I've got the shoes here and an empty chair, okay? Um, and I feel like if that's the case, this person is going to wake up and realize they wasted a whole lot of freaking time um, dinking around in a situation that left them in nothing but darkness, okay? Meanwhile, the real deal that they have unfinished business with is going to get away. All right, and this man, this person is angry. Yeah, considerably angry. Considerably angry. <laughs> Shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see what this person has to say before we go, okay? And maybe we can even get a possible outcome.
once again this is something that I made a long time ago too so all right <laughs> Yeah, man. I'm just hearing that conversation. Dude, bro, I don't know what to do, man. You know, they want to, it, it's either the easy way or the one with some effort. I, I just, I'm sorry. I find that as be, being very sad. Being very sad. And, I, I, you know, I think they're going to realize that too. They're going to get angry over this eventually, I think. All right, what does this person, what would they like to say? What would this masculine like to say to the person watching? What does your person want to say to you, person watching? What, are your per what does your person want to say to you, person watching? What does your person want to say to you? It's too many, guys. What does your person want to say to you, person watching? That's too many. There's a lot of people out there that want to talk. There's a lot of masculines out there that want to talk. I feel there's more ass, mass, mass. I feel like there's more masculines out there that want to talk than ones who want to ask questions. That's a little bit scary. I find that interesting. What does this person want to say to the person watching? Person watching, what does your person want to say to you? What does your person want to say? I just want to be around you. What does this person want to say? Oh, there's a little spider on my table running around. Uh -uh. What does this person want to say to the person watching? What does this person want to say to the person watching? Whoops, that's way too many. What does this person want to say to the person watching? What does this person want to say to the person watching? One more card, please. Yeah, they want sexual healing, too. What does this person want to say? I'm so in love with you. I'm so in love with you. And I wish we could forgive and forget. Yeah. All right, well, that's what I got. And um, yeah, I hope that resonates for somebody. Um, if it didn't resonate with you, look, it's just that it's not your story or your energy tonight for this reading, okay? No biggie. Um, don't worry about it. It happens to everybody. Um, well, every reader anyway. And if it does resonate with you and you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to my channel and help it grow. And if you'd like to make a donation to the channel, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Until next time, take care of you and peace out.